My name is Rosemary Jesenowski. My title is Associate Professor of Studio Art and Gallery Specialist. My project is the digitization of the UMW Gallery's permanent collection. What we've been doing over the past year is photographing and scanning the over 5,000 objects we have in the Art Gallery's permanent collection and inputting them into a database which is accessible now online. We've been working with several places on campus to help us with this. We've been working with the Digital Archiving Lab and Suzanne Huffman. She's been helping us use the large scanner. We've also been working with DTLT, who has been a great help with the Omeka program that we're using for our database. The database, we've been adding to it over the last year, but we were a little concerned about copyright issues. And so I've done extensive research and am now confident with a few changes that I've made that we are safe in our copyright realm. And we just published our online database two weeks ago. Now, at this point, we only have about 40 objects scanned or photographed and all the metadata inputted. And it's going to be an ongoing project, obviously, because we have a lot of art objects. Moving forward, we're going to continue to scan the smaller two-dimensional items. We'll photograph the larger two-dimensional art items. And then we'll, I think the last thing that we'll do will be documenting the three-dimensional objects because we also have a number of sculptures in our collection as well. And, you know, I like the idea too of scanning the sculptures and doing some sort of 3D rendering of the sculptural pieces that we have. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But at this point, what's really exciting is that a lot of the works that we have previously were never accessible by the public unless they made an appointment with me, they came in, we pulled the artwork, and now people can go online, they can see, at least at this point, a selection of what we have, and if they are researching, you know, perhaps a student or a researcher outside of UMW is researching a certain topic or a certain uh, artist, they can access the basics about that piece and a reasonably sized JPEG to view and aid in their own research. And then they could make an appointment with us and they could come in and see the work in person. It's also really good, for example, we have a piece, a singular piece, but the rest of this artist's work is housed in Texas. And they're doing a retrospective of her work and they contacted me uh, because in, uh, their records showed that we had a piece of, of hers. And um, now that we've got all of this online, they, in that sort of case, someone could access it online, verify that we have it, contact us, and act, ask us to borrow it. So it just speeds up that process a little bit. And for students researching, too, they can access it online, get their preliminary information, then make an appointment with us and come and see the work in person. So it's really exciting to be able to offer this up because in my experience, I've been here for seven years, and you know, until I started working in the gallery, I had absolutely no idea what we had in the collection. And part of that maybe you know, was me not going over there and invest investigating, but this just provides provides people with the opportunity to see what it is that we're housing. I mean, we've got some really cool pieces. We have an Andy Warhol. Did you know that? Hmm. Well, now it's going to be accessible online for people to view and, and get to know the fact that we've got some really, really amazing pieces in our collection.